All right, guys. So I just did took hella notes on why Christmas is bad, satanic and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to go through these notes I just wrote. Like, there's hella notes. So, you know what I'm saying? Just bear with me. And um, this is, like, my first, like, presentation, like, writing shit down. And I'm fucking, like, excited and shit. You know what I'm saying? I got this video off of YouTube. I just took the, the words out. You feel me? But um, I'm not looking at it. I'm looking at my notes and shit, right? So, look. I'm going to tell you how Santa Claus is Nimrod. You feel me? Look. Nimrod. You know what I'm saying? He was known as a mighty hunter. You know what I'm saying? He founded Babel. You feel me? And um, the Babel means confusion or mixing. He made more cities, too. Like, all these cities have a meaning. I didn't write all the words down, though. He's also known as, Nimrod was also known as the motherfucking Dagon fish god. You know what I'm saying? Like, not at that time, but, you know, eventually. He was, like, called, to, called different names throughout time. And Dagon the fish god, that is the, that motherfucker you see on Starbucks. That's also the same, like, that's the shit you see, like, the priest wearing and shit. You know what I mean? Or if it's a fucking fish head. All right, look at it. And then, and look at Nimrod named the city after a false god he created called Anu. Okay? You mean? And he fucking, Nimrod fucked his mom, G. Like, they fucking, you know what I mean? They had a child. You feel me? He fucking his whole ass mom. Her name was um, Semiramis. You feel me? And they had Tammuz. Alright? Look at After Nimrod died, his mom propagated that Nimrod survived as a spirit being. Alright? And she claimed that a full-grown evergreen tree sprang forth overnight. You feel me? So each anniversary of his birth, December 25th, you feel me? She would decorate that tree and leave gifts. Okay? So that's this is the origins of the Christmas. This is the origins of Christmas. Way before this is way before Jesus was born. This is way before all that shit. You feel me? They're celebrating Christmas. You feel me? And I'm fucking with my like the, my charger a little bit. My bad if you could hear that shit, but look. Um, so the Yule log, I don't know shit about Yule log, but I guess it's some Christmas shit. I mean, represents the false god Nimrod, the sun god. I'm trying to say he's the sun god and shit, right? The tree represents him resurrected as his own son, Tammuz. You feel me? The little star on top that represents that bitch. You mean? Semiramis. You feel me? This is the whole Christmas, the origin of Christmas. You know what I mean? They started off with Nimrod, and she said he was a sun god. They called it Baal. You know what I'm saying? Baal, all that shit. You know what I mean? Then it went to Osiris. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you why this is, it sounds like the Osiris story. Then from Osiris, it went to Odin. You feel me? Odin went to St. Nicholas. You feel me? St. Nicholas went to Santa Claus. You know what I'm saying? And then, eventually, Santa Claus. You feel me? So, look. Cush, son of Ham, grandson of Noah, father Nimrod. All right? But, that might not be true, though. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess, Nimrod was a giant. You feel me? And he, he was dead. He was alive, but he was dead. He had no soul. That's why he had no respect for God. You know what I'm saying? And, um... He fucking, they, they, they grew, they grew this, they grew, they fucking built this big ass tower of Babel that could reach fucking heaven and shit. And God said like, cause they all spoke the same language. So God like fucked the language up, made them all speak different languages. So they got confused and all spread apart. You know what I'm saying? And fucking, um, he was like, cause God says like, if they all speak the same language, they could do anything they want. Like they could fucking, you know what I mean? Anything they put to their mind, they could do it. You know what I'm saying? And, um, let me see. So look at let me go back to my notes. All right, look at Cush, son of Ham, grandson of Noah, father Nimrod. Everybody spoke one language. I mean, they had a, they made a blueprint to rule the world with a counterfeit religion. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, what does it sound like to you? What the fuck does that shit sound like? You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get all crazy with you guys, but I'm just letting you know. You know what I'm saying? If you know it, if you know, you know. If you don't, you should know. You can get to know it. But look at it. You mean? So Nimrod is the father, is the founder of sun worship. Okay? Um... He became a mighty man of sin and a murderer of innocent men. You know what I'm saying? He built a tower that could reach heaven, but God confused the language of people, which forced everyone to scatter. Okay? The worship of Nimrod was called Moloch. That was how you worship. That was called, you know what I'm saying? Exactly like what I said. The worship of Nimrod was called Moloch. All right? Look at this, though. All those who wanted to have a close relationship with Nimrod and his mother, wife, his mother wife, you know what I'm saying? And enjoy the privileges of the country. They had to bring their newborn baby for the sacrifice. Okay, that's 
like fuck, gee, that's that's that. This is that fucking bullshit. All right, look at Nimrod also worshipped. He was also worshipped as a fire god Saturn, Baal, Kronos. I mean, he's also known as the, the great child devourer. You know what I mean? But look at though, Sam, Sam came through. You know what I mean? Saying he came through and killed Nimrod. You know what I'm saying? So, fucking, I guess he he lied to see he like he lied to somebody like he got he got him caught up, he got him ambushed. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think hey, Esau killed fucking Nimrod. G. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. You know what I mean? Fuck. That's what it is. But look at though, Semiramis took over the kingdom. She lost control. Cause they would all say Nimrod was a god, but how the fuck are you gonna be a god when you die? So they're like, they don't believe this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They don't, cause guys don't die, but Nimrod died. She ain't a fucking god. You feel me? But look at though, she got she got all his body parts. And how's the same? You know what I'm saying? He he like got in her ear, tore some shit. You feel me? She looks for all his body parts and shit, right? To bring him back to life. But his fucking his dick was missing. You know what I'm saying? So how the fuck you gonna reproduce? He ain't got no dick. You know what I'm saying? That's what she thought. Like what the fuck? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Can't find his dick. But look. Fucking, um. So she then created a religion saying Nimrod was the, was the sun god. You know what I'm saying? With the help of fucking saying. You know what I'm saying? And she claimed to be the moon god's daughter. No, no, she claimed to be the moon god. Okay? And the daughter of sin. That was, she was the daughter of sin. I guess that was a, I, don't, I guess that was a thing back then. Alright? She was the daughter of sin. She was the moon god. Alright? And... Semiramis, like, aka Ishtar, okay, that was another fucking name for this bitch, claimed to come down from the moon in a moon egg called the motherfucking Ishtar egg, all right? That was the beginning of false religions, you know what I'm saying? So, look, let's go talk about the whole Egypt. It, bro, Egypt did not predate the Bible, you know what I'm saying? The Bible did not borrow from Egypt. It's the other way around, you know what I'm saying? The Nimrod and all this shit. You know what I mean? It's all those false claims, false gods, all that bullshit that we've been put through. You know what I'm saying? But look at it. I got some Bible scriptures too talking about some shit. Let me see. I don't know if I could go out this page and still read them. I'll grab another phone. I'll be right back. Hold up. All right. So these ain't in order or nothing. I just wrote them down and shit. All right. So Proverbs 10, 30 goes like this. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom. But the froward tongue shall be cut out. The lips of the righteous know what is acceptable. But the mouth of the wicked speaketh frowardness. Know that. Holla. Psalms 55, 23. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in thee. What's that? Romans 1, 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath shewed it into them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse, because that when they, knew, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Holla, bitch. All right, Psalms 115, verse 17. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. You know what I'm saying? Holla. You know what that means? You got to let it be known. Holla. One love. Big wrong. wrong.